Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to set up our public domain name so that users can log in with our public domain name. Currently, the users should be logging to with our Intune account or Intune domain name. Uh, in this case, Intune. 990.onmicrosoft.com so we wanted that to be set to paddy 8 omnio.com since this domain I own it similarly uh, any of the user account which we are going to create in the next lectures all the users should be able to log in with our domain name that's the goal of this section as soon as you log into portal.office.com click on admin so that you would go to the administration and then in this, uh, if you're first time logging in already, you would be getting this kind of, you know, a wizard to set up or uh, either you should go with this setup uh, process so that it will ask you to set up everything. Otherwise, if you're trying to do it for the first time, not the first time, then you may have to go to setup and domains and add the domain name. This is how you would be doing from uh, from uh, office portal if you wanted to do it from Microsoft Azure portal you need to go to Azure Active Directory here and then go to domains custom domains and add the custom domain so when you're trying to do this it will ask you hey what's your domain name so in this case omnia.com so I can simply give this then it would ask me some of the records to be created in my godaddy.com so what I'll do is I'll open up my godaddy here and simply I would add those records whatever it is trying to show me here in this case it's uh, actually showing me to create uh, this record text record so if I can create this text record that would be done if you're trying to do it from let me delete this and uh, also let me set it up from office 365 portal I wanted to show you this uh, in from the office 365 portal also so I'm just trying to delete this so that there will not be any conflict in the future so simply uh, select this in tune uh, from the uh, Omnia chart cam and simply delete this this should actually delete everything this domain name make sure that there is no objects otherwise it will not allow you to delete event so I'm just trying to do the same thing from uh, this visit instead of I go from setup and domains I'm gonna follow this setup this would makes me to set up everything uh, including the office 365 let's finish these things installing office apps continue you're doing as a first step as to use your domain name so I'm just giving simple use this domain name so that it's gonna set up your office 365 admin portal completely so it is asking you to create hey you should be creating these are the uh, things which uh, you need to do it in your uh, either GoTaddy or any of the DNS server so in my case I'm gonna create it in my GoTaddy I'm taking back this value which is MSE client whatever the value is it just copying back I'm going back to my domain name uh, which is txt here text value is this and the value should be either that's what it's trying to say if you can see here I'm just trying to minimize and trying to do this text record it should be and at the rate and TTL should be 3600 which is nothing but one hour save that's it so this might take uh, 72 hours as per Microsoft uh, recommendation but with a GoDaddy it would not take not more than maybe a 15 minutes or so or just to uh, verify button to come up so I'll wait for another 15 minutes or so to uh, get this verify button and most of the cases I've seen that it would be uh, not even 15 minutes uh, but let's also create here a mix record also in this case let's copy these values uh, to create MS record and then we can click on verify I'll just go here at type should be the MX and uh, here th the values host name as at rate and simple our uh, priority should be here uh, 32 seven six seven which is coming up from here that's it uh, then save this would uh, also created here amex as well as the text record if you're trying to do it as we have seen in the uh, Azure Active Directory portal you would be only doing 
a test record but uh, your office 365 trial uh, which also required MX record to be you know, created so that the email communication or email uh, emails can be routed properly that's what we have tried to do it so that's good let's click on verify it's just verified and it is asking us to add the user account so since this is a set of wizard uh, it's asking to create a user account also. Just uh, we'll we'll try to create a test user account here by filling this so that users can log in with this account at the rate uh, omniotask.com. So we have not attached our on-premises server which is here at this point of time with mylab.local.com and the users, there are thousands of users are there already 1000 objects. User accounts also available but we have not yet synced and we have not done any further level of configuration to our active directory. So far we are only touching Office 365 admin console as well as the intent portal that's it so let's uh, create one test account uh, with the name of just a test and then uh, this is going to be test user uh, test and then simply you can set the password or you can email to this user account a uh, later point but uh, I'm just gonna create assigning the licensing part so this uh, asking us to share the credentials if the user has a different user account he would be receiving an email uh, with the credential details so in my case I'm not doing anything but I'm also downloading that so that the user password information will be with me and I can do later point the configuration so let's continue further to connect to the demand so activate records so in this setup uh, you will be activating all services of your domain like email and uh, including your Skype for business or team services DNS everything gonna uh, modified so that's what we are trying to do so let's continue now it says that uh, we are ready and it's gonna asking us to create few more records so that our email services uh, would be activated this is just for uh, Office 365 subscription related. If you're trying to do it just for the intune, you don't need to do all these things. But what we are trying to do is we also trying to uh, configure uh, everything, including the Office 365 subscription. So this is a part of Office 365 setup. Also, what we are trying to do it here, which is not part of this course, maybe, but some or other way it's related. Few times, few of the admins might confuse that. Hey, how do I do this? Uh, and which 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 console to be used for some time? For example, somebody uses as your portal, or somebody uses the Office 365. So I don't want to make it uh, more complicated for you. Uh, just wanted to address all the possible things so that you would be more clear let's create all these records also to function your outlook and uh, simple copy so I'm gonna uh, fast forward uh, for adding these DNS records in our GoDaddy so let's uh, do the steps uh, simply logging into the GoDaddy and creating all that required records in this case for the MX record for email communication followed by C name records uh, these are the two records which are required for exchange online that means email communication related and also we would be creating txt records uh, post to this so let's complete the c name record uh, and also what i will be doing is just for the uh, post to the text record which is it uh, which is used for the email communication purpose i'm gonna uh, create for the skype for business also in case if we wanted to use skype for business or team services and these are the records and also for the SRV records also I'm gonna create two of the records uh, in case uh, if we do something wrong for example I wanted to configure here the priority or maybe the port number something like that to be a uh, wrong so that uh, later point I can be show you how uh, it's gonna show you the error for example since it's a bulk of records in case if you have done wrongly configured any of these records it would clearly mentions or clearly points out what value was uh, wrongly entered for example in this case let me enter here uh, the port number maybe uh, let me enter 5056 instead of 5061 what happens let's see and also I'm going to create the Intune related records these are the two records which are required uh, for the enrollment of uh, devices so these are the records also to be created as part of our uh, demonstration so 
these are the two records got created now you can verify all these uh, c name records two records sr records two and also text and mx record has been created successfully since we have all created all the required records we'll just click continue click on continue that would verify uh, in our godaddy whether these records are there or not if it is not there it will show you like this errors so in this case the priority related uh, were actually not created so that's where the mistakes has been done so we need to you know rectify those things so i'm recreating those required uh, port numbers properly instead of the uh, 443 I gave as 100 that's what and also instead of the other uh, value 556 I have given so I'm going to create 5061 uh, as the required record so now the record has been created uh, or modified accordingly uh, whatever it was showing as early, error earlier now click on continue this time it has done so this gives the feedback if you like it you can give the great uh, experience and you can send uh, feedback and just go to the admin center that's it so you have done everything including the Intune related C records also created for enrollment process now we are good uh, you can check it here any of the users for example if you can see here the user maybe a test user in this case the user account also able to log in with test iphone test at the rate in omnio.com which is a public domain name and here if you can see here the user alias is always remains as this which is on on microsoft.com and similarly here also if you are trying to assign the any of the licenses you can go back here and assign the required licenses in this case if you want to assign a business premium license for the exchange you can do that very well and similarly you can do it here from the assigning part or licensing part I'll just click on that EMS license and save the last step I wanted to show you uh, if you remember we also talked about from uh, doing the similar steps to verify our domain name from Azure Active Directory portal right so if you can uh, go back to Azure portal since this was already opened and I've not it refreshed if I do the refresh I should be able to see here whatever the domain name I give for example in this case omnia.com should be able to see so I'm what I'm gonna do is I'll just simply click on refresh that should show me yeah it's showing as it's verified and also if you can see it is set to primary that means whatever the user accounts we are going to create that user at the rate omnia.com would be uh, appearing so you no need to worry about if you created uh, any of the user from here in, in fact the user accounts also used to be seeing here so whatever we do it from the office 365 portal for the account creation and licensing part the similar things you can do it from Azure Active Directory that's what I wanted to convey to you uh, out of this uh, lecture one of the takeout in fact so if I go to the licensing uh, I have already evaluating two of the products one would be the uh, EMS file as well as the office business premium now two of the licenses also assigned for the users and remaining licenses also it is showing here so if I just go here the premium licensing two of the users has been already assigned similarly if you created any of the user account from Azure Active Directory portal you need to assign the user account or the required licenses in this case for example test users simply go back to the licenses and add the licenses or assign the licenses that's how you do it uh, that's it that concludes the first topic of adding uh, and creating normal user accounts but we have not attached the uh, groups creating other things we would be doing in the next section